Hey guys, it's Mike McKinstry from Basque Watch Hunter TV, and today I'm going to show you guys how to clean and maintain your spinning reels. The first thing I'm going to go over is the equipment you'll need and the tools you'll need to be able to do this. So the first thing you'll notice is I have a very clean, well-lit area to work in. That way, none of the parts or small screws or tools will get lost or dropped and won't be able to find them. Um, there's nothing worse than taking apart a reel and then finding one of your little teeny screws are missing at the end. Um, it's very hard to replace. Uh, so what you'll need to clean and maintain your spinning reel is a precision Phillips screwdriver some white lithium grease or your grease or oil of choice. I prefer to use white lithium grease. It's easy to get at any hardware store and uh, it holds up pretty well. It's got really good uh, anti-corrosive qualities to it. So I like white lithium grease. Um, the biggest thing is never use a silicone base and always use a synthetic. Um, so white lithium works perfect for me. Then I have some rubber gloves. Um, not only do the gloves keep the lubricant off of my hands, but it also keeps any debris on my hands off of my reel. So gloves are a very handy thing to have. And then a clean towel that does not shed lint. Microfiber is fine um, or any kind of towel is good as long as it doesn't shed lint like a paper towel does. You don't want to add extra stuff into your, into your reel. Oh, and also a very important part of any kind of fishing maintenance or um, fishing in general is I have my coffee. <laughs> so, okay guys, so let's get started with the maintenance and cleaning of a spinning reel. First thing you're gonna do is loosen up your drag cap on the top of your spool. Okay, so now once the cap comes off, I'll set this out of the way in my work area. And then your spool will easily pop right off just like this. So I'll put the spool over here out of the way as well. So now you can see I have the exposed shaft of the spinning reel. So first thing I'm gonna do when I get to this point is I'm going to do a visual check. I'm just gonna look around the top of the spool up here um, and, or sorry, the top of the reel right here where the shaft has the shaft nut right there. And if I see any debris, I'll take my towel and I'll simply wipe around it. Um, now I don't want to wipe the actual shaft itself because any lubricant or grease on that, I want to leave on that. And I don't want any debris pushed onto the shaft. Um, so it looks pretty clean to me. So now we're going to go ahead and remove the side plate so we can continue to clean this reel. This reel has uh, a locker on the other side of the reel so I can switch both sides. It's called a convertible reel um, where it can go left side or right side. So I will unscrew this first. Once this is fully removed, I'll set it out of my work area. I'll remove the handle and set that out of my work area as well. Um, so I'm trying to keep this whole area in front of me completely clear and very um, accessible. That way, if any parts do come out for any reason, then I do have a open area. Um, okay, so now the next part is the fun part. Now we get to open the side plate right here on the side of your reel. So on this reel, it's on the left side and there's three screws that hold it in. Um, and these side plates can be a little tricky too. Sometimes you gotta pry them off or pop them off a little bit because they kind of lock in really tight. So I'm gonna use my precision Phillips screwdriver and I'll go in and loosen these up. I'll place them on their own. Now, make sure you look at your screws when you take them out. Sometimes the screws are different lengths and you wanna make sure you remember where they go. Luckily on this reel, all three screws are the same length. There's no difference in the three screws. So I simply can put them off to the side like this and then I can find them easily and they're easy to get back at. So I will take my um, screwdriver and I will put a little bit of pressure on the side plate just to pop it off. Okay, so I got the side plate off. So I'm gonna pop the side plate off and I'm gonna set it in the clean area out of the way. So now before I touch anything on here, I'm going to put on my rubber gloves. That way nothing from my hands falls inside the reel and none of the lubricant that I'm about to apply on here gets on my hands. Okay, now we're going to get inside this reel here. So now that the reel is exposed, you can see that you have the drive gear on top. You have your reciprocating block right here on the bottom. Then you have a, a worm gear that's a pinion gear on top up here. 
and that's what actually transitions from this motion from the drive gear to the spool spinning on the worm gear right here. So now the reciprocating block actually moves up. So as you spin the reel, you can see it exposes the transmission gear down here in the back. So the transmission gear is one of those gears you really want to make sure is lubricated as, as well as the worm gear on top. So I'm going to use this towel first. I'm going to wipe off a little bit of the debris. And then on top of the drive gear right here, you'll notice the main bearings. So this is the main bearing of the reel. So when you see a reel that says it has seven ball bearings or 15 ball bearings, this is the main bearing on top of the drive. And now I'm gonna get my white lithium grease. Um, you can find this at any hardware store. It's easily accessible. Um, you wanna make sure you never use silicone, um, but you'd wanna use something synthetic. So the white lithium grease has great anti-corrosion properties and great lubricating properties. So that's why I use this. So I'm gonna put a little dab on top of the transmission gear and I'm going to put a little teeny dab on top of the bearing like this um, and then another teeny dab on top of the worm gear. So I lubricated the three main points of the reel um, that's underneath the reciprocating block which is the transmission gear, um, the main drive gear and the worm gear. Um, so now that that's on I'm going to reinstall the side plate so everything looked good. So you always visually inspect as well. So look at all the gears, look at everything, make sure there's no debris or anything inside your reel. Now you're gonna have metal shavings no matter what you do. Um, just moving parts makes metal shavings. You'll have metal and plastic shavings inside your reel sometimes, um, which isn't always a bad thing. But what you wanna do is make sure that you don't get water inside your reel uh, because then it'll dilute your oil. Um, it'll ruin your um, protecting and lubricating properties of your oil and then you'll no longer be able to keep those metal shavings out of your gears. Now I'm not going to tighten these all the way. I'm just going to make them snug until I get all of them in place. And then once I get all three screws in place, then I'll go through and retighten them. And you just tighten the top cap back down. Um, you can adjust your drag later, so just get on there nice and snug. And then the last step is to reattach your handle. Looks like it's moving pretty good. So if you guys want to prolong the life of your reels, um, repair a broken reel, or just do normal annual maintenance on your reels, this is how you do it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share this video. Get it out there, guys. Let's build up this channel so we can help more people and spread the love of the sport that we all have. So thank you guys very much. I'll see you on the water soon. And don't forget, keep on hunting for your Basquatch.